Hello friends and welcome back to my Messy to Minimal series. We are doing another episode and I hope that you guys enjoy this little declutter and minimize with me. Um, and then also some spring cleaning, homemaking motivation as well. I'm sharing some new plans for a DIY project that I'm really excited about and ending with some laundry motivation. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, I have been wanting to tackle the kitchen cabinets again for quite some time and I'm so excited to be finally decluttering and kind of cleaning out these cabinets. And so we are going to be going through every single top cabinet in today's video for some extreme decluttering motivation. Let me know what you are doing today down below in the comments. Okay, so this is what I'm starting with is just all of like the cups and coffee supplies. I am going to just minimize this a little bit and see what we're left with. So here is the random stash I am getting rid of. We just don't use it. I've had them for years and yeah, this is broken. It's like a baby snot sucker, a nose Frida. It's amazing if you have little kids, but we're past that and again, it's broken. So getting rid of that. And here is what we're keeping. Okay, here's what we got going on. So this I just need to move into a different um, space as it was just taking up way too much room in that cabinet. These I am actually going to get rid of. Okay, we're gonna recycle those because these jars, um, I like them. They're from the classical brand, obviously. However, they're too small. So I like these ones better. It's the next size up. So this is like the Alfredo jar and this is the um, what do you call it? Spaghetti sauce jar. And these ones I can actually use when I'm canning. So I'm going to keep just the big ones and we're going to get rid of these. I have an abundance of jars as you can see, and this is not even all of them. So these are extra containers that obviously go in our pantry. I have quite a few extras right now, which is interesting. I don't know why. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And then same with these, I will figure out where they are going to go. So then back in here, you'll see I have that. This will probably stay empty. And then up there, we have random small appliances that I never use. And by never, I mean very rarely. And then over here, same thing, rarely use those. Oh, I forgot to take out this one. And that's kind of what we have left. I will organize after right now, we are just decluttering. Okay, then down here, my husband fixed this finally. And it looks so much better in here. Everything is organized. I got all my glass jars and containers. And then um, up here we have those ones, which are like the girls' lunch and Bentco boxes. The other one is in the dishwasher right now. And then we have our trays that I make like veggie trays with. And it closes. Oh, it's little things and I need to clean it. Like, come on here. So this stuff I am getting rid of. I just don't need it. I have been keeping it for like, I don't even know how long and I've never used any of it. So it is going in the trash. Also for now, I ended up keeping this little mug I can't get rid of it. Not yet. I only have one and that's okay. Moving over here, I struggle getting rid of these dishes, but today is the day. We're going to go through them. We're going to minimize it. Again, going from messy to minimal. Let's do this.
So I have almost all of them taken out right now just to kind of see what we're dealing with and I'm not gonna lie I struggle so much getting rid of these as like I use most of them just for different things. The only ones I don't use are, are these right here. So I'm gonna ask my mother-in-law if she wants them um, to kind of get those out of the way but I am keeping the rest of them for now. On top of that, like we do have the space for them and those I use all the time. So yeah, I think I have decluttered almost like as much as I possibly can in the kitchen here. Um, and so yeah, I do find like as you declutter, you're able to get rid of more and more and more and more. But again, I feel like I've reached that cap in terms of the kitchen. So flipping the camera around, this is the other side of my kitchen that I very, very rarely show because it just drives me insane. But we have some really big plans for this space. If you're following me over on my new Instagram account, you would have saw there, but we are building. I wanna learn how to build this year and so I can take you along this journey for something you wanna see, but I'm actually gonna build cabinets over here to match those ones. So it's gonna have like a long black hand like that and I'm gonna paint it white and it's basically gonna fill this space and conceal literally everything here including a couple things that are actually in the cabinet behind me so stay tuned for that let me know down in the comments if it's something you would want to see um and uh, yeah i can take you around that journey of how to build like a, how to diy a, a cabinet slash pantry okay so here's the after it's a little bit better so we use both of these plates to be honest so those we use like all the time because they're not glass so my kids can eat them and then when we have like company and stuff those are kind of like our nicer plates but eventually this stuff will go in the cabinet that I'm building so that will be some space that'll be better utilized and then I have some extra spices that I need to organize better as well which is this cabinet and it's again kind of our spices and then our medicine and stuff which like isn't horrible it's not you know that aesthetically pleasing but functional bringing you over to my drawing board this is what i'm planning for the cabinet so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea and then the interior has changed since i have um, drawn this up but the only difference is like these two are going up here and these ones are going down here so that's the only thing that's changed So yeah, you can kind of get an idea of what is to come and I am so excited for that project. So this is the after. I love the whole idea of when you are on a more minimal journey is to have like empty spaces in your shelf, right? Like just because it's empty doesn't mean you need to fill it. And it's nice to see some gaps here. And then I did end up just putting that there as it fits. And before it was just kind of shoved in with all the glass jars and stuff where now it is easily accessible and it, you can actually like reach it over on that side too. So that is very exciting to have that under control. Moving over to this side, you guys saw the coffee area a while ago, but same thing, there is some gaps. You can hear my dishwasher going again, surprise, surprise. Um, but obviously that area is usually full of cups as well. And then here is this side. Same thing, there's gonna be two more cups that fit there in that spot. So not much for empty space um, other than like way back there. And then this side we have our cups down at the bottom there. And then just kind of extra plates and bowls and stuff like that. So here's my beautiful pots and pans area. <laughs> I should get a new shelf liner because obviously that one is like rusty and dirty and yeah. Anyway, just the bottom of the pots. So we have like our two pans in the back there and then we have these. So normally there's a pot there but it is currently in the dishwasher. And then down there we have like my massive like soup pot and then there's some more frying pans that get shoved back there as well. So um, we have some empty space down here which is really nice. With that being said though, like I do need new pots and pans. So eventually that bottom space will be um, covered. My husband and I just cannot agree on pots and pans. So yeah, we haven't been able to get some yet. So we'll still, we're still in the deciding process. And obviously you guys will find out when I decide to get some, like what I ended up going with, but 
that's that. And like the reason we can't agree is because I want like aesthetic, he wants functionality. <laughs> and he's not wrong, but I'm just being super stubborn. Now that we have that decluttering out of the way and the kitchen feels a lot lighter, I got rid, there's a full trash bag that I am taking to the um, Goodwill and I'm gonna donate it. And so it feels really good to just, again, get that stuff out of my house. I find my decluttering journey going from messy to minimal and just minimizing my whole house, simplifying my house, all the things um, has really gotten so much easier. I mean, I started this journey in January and I feel like the more you get rid of, the easier it becomes to also let go of things. And this is coming from somebody, like my husband literally used to joke and call me a hoarder. Um, I used to struggle really getting rid of things. And so um, having this mental shift and just wanting to minimize our home has brought so much joy in my life. Our house is more simple. It is just easier to manage and the benefits of minimizing far outweigh the cons of not minimizing. And so I hope that that can be a little bit of an encouragement for you. If you are someone who is struggling with, you know, a cluttered home, I hope that you can find the inspiration and the courage to, to just start decluttering because it's going to feel so, so good. Again, I can actually easily manage my home now and it is just amazing. So if you need some more inspiration in terms of simplifying your home, follow my new Instagram account and um, yeah, stay along the journey with me. I share lots over there. We are just gonna finish up with this laundry and get it put away. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel as a small creator. And we will see you guys next week for a new video and stay tuned as I have some news to share. It's not good actually, but um, something happened that we had no idea was obviously going to happen. And I will share a little bit more about that in my next video. Bye for now.